Race 8 of the BMW IBS F two-man bobsleigh World Cup season, the season finale at Sigulda in Latvia. Brad Hall with Greg Cackett on the back of the sled for the second day of two-man action in Sigulda. The pair had last pushed together in Lake Placid before Christmas. Brad lying in fifth place after the first of the two heats seriously in touching distance of the medals. Could he produce another great run in the final descent of the season? Two silver medals the previous season here showed that he has got the ability and the speed was there as well. Towards the bottom of the run, easing Li Chun Jan out of the leader's box and throwing down the gauntlet to the remaining four sleds tightly packed in front of him. Switzerland's Mickey Vogt and Sandro Mikkel had been just six hundredths of a second in front of the British sled after their first trip. Already twice a bronze medal winning duo on this track, they'd been in fourth place after the first heat and two were looking to move up. Creeping away from Brad Hall, a little better speed down at the bottom and just a fraction less problem out of corner 14. Still with speed to spare at the lower parts of the track. The gap would come down, but it would be enough for him to take the lead over Brad Hall by five hundredths of a second with three to go. Into the final three and a dead heat for the silver medal position as we'd seen in the women's race earlier. Francesco Friedrich and Torsten Margis reunited once more, had tied the time set for second and so they went first. Friedrich is a seven-time two-man winner on this track in 11 previous races. Beaten into silver medal position the day before by Johannes Lochner, was he going to let that happen again? Out of 15, he ducked his head out of sight. He knew where the Chrysler was. He didn't need to look to steer, saving every hundredth across the line. Eight hundreds in front and guaranteed a medal. But of what colour? This was Friedrich's 91st two-man World Cup race. Adam Amour, his rival, starting his eighth two-man bobsleigh race of any kind ever. With his brother Izan behind him, they produced a great start. But the technique and the speed of Friedrich is almost unmatchable. And Adam Amour slipped a fraction back. With the tightly packed sleds at the top of the field, it was touch and go whether he would even stay in a medal position. He didn't have the speed of Mickey Vogt at the bottom. He was behind leader Friedrich. Would he be in the leader's box? Third place with one to go. A medal was still a chance for the brothers. But a slender one. Johannes Lochner's wife looking on as he and Georg Fleischauer, one of only two crews that remained together after day one, started once more. Another crushing getaway. Since this duo combined in Lake Placid before Christmas, they have not stepped out of the sled without a gold medal. Five consecutive World Cup wins and the two-man world championship. And that string will continue into next season because Johannes Lochner quite simply was uncatchable in the second day of action as he had been in the first. It is their sixth straight two-man World Cup victory and they've taken the World Championships as well. Francesco Friedrich Silver, Mickey Vogt his third bronze on the track, but two wins for Johannes Lochner confirm that he is the World Cup champion in two-man for the very first time in his career.